Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I spend a fair bit of time on my tool grinder. I put a new stone on and make a new tool to cut a 60 degree thread for the AR40. Call it hold up because I need to get that out of the chuck because I need to do the I need a four jaw chuck to machine a casting in. So there's quite a bit of tool grinding and a little bit of screw cutting in this week's videos. I go down to my dad's again and he does the draw for the Spillmaster oil pot and the brushes. He does a little bit more organ music. I put some on the end of the video. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Hi, my name is Ed. Welcome to this week's draw. Oil pot and brushes. And the lucky number is Matthew McAvoy. Champion. I'm going to do it with that draw this week. It's going to be another clock gauge. It's another one of the ones that Bob has repaired. It's a batty gauge, 0 to 30 thou. Very nice, very accurate, very smooth in operation. I'll get a close up of that so you can see exactly what it is. Very nice, very smooth. See, it's only got a, it's only got thirty thou. Only in the case thirty thou, so it's nice and accurate. Got a back mount on it as well, which is always handy to have. Once again, Bob, thanks very much. Really, is much appreciated. All you need to do, if you want a chance of winning the clock gauge is send me an email, that's my email address up there send me an email with a name on, your name goes into a hat or a bucket uh, your name's drawn out, if you win I'll post it anywhere in the world free of charge if your name's already in the bucket, it stays in the bucket until you win something and this week, like I say, it's going to be that nice little body DDI gauge I haven't had any time at all in the workshop this weekend um, I was at hospital on Friday, I had a small operation on my leg which was done under general anaesthetic so that 48 hours you can't really do a great lot and obviously I've got to rest my leg for the next week or so which is going to keep us out of the workshop as well I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everybody at the Freeman Hospital in Newcastle they were really good, the nurses were brilliant I handed a few of my YouTube cards out and the anaesthetist said he was going to watch tonight's nightcap so if you are watching, I'm still here, I'm feeling, feeling okay. Um, like I say, absolutely, the, the care was fantastic. Thanks very much. Before I can grind the 60 degree tool, I've been going to do it for quite some time. I've been given several stones, well, three stones the same as this, and I'm going to try and put onto this cutter. The stones were free, they're in really a branch bank in you, um, so I'm going to try and use them. I've made a bush to keep the, the stone central. The problem I've got is the stone sticking out half an inch past the guard. I'm not exactly what you'd call a health and safety freak, but even I realise that that is not a good idea. So I'm going to put a bit of metal around there just to extend out the core of the stone. And then we'll get the stone mounted and so we can make the 60 degree tool. It's a silicon carbide grinding wheel which is ideal for grinding high speed steel. Stone's got a nice clear ring to it, which is a good indication that the stone hasn't got any hidden defects. I've got some brass band in here. I simply bend a piece of that round and probably drill it and tap it and put a couple of screws in I think I'll take this little plate off here 
it doesn't really apply to anything I'm doing. That's going to give us enough width. Got some nice little counter sunk 4mm screws. Will be alright. Make a counter sink a little bit deeper. Bastard. I'll be the way down there until the next time I'll tell you oh, the size I haven't got. There's a spare one. They're going to be ideal, not quite going all the way through, so they'll miss the wheel. And that's two of those, and that will be the, the guard done. Then we can carry on trying to do the job. What we're going to do in the first place, this often happens to me. You start off doing a job and you get led astray and you start doing something else. I'll run that corner off here as well. I need to take a little bit off the two washers. Hold the screw on. Not a lot. Half the middle side all it needs. This is an ideal job. You use all the push tools to line the, the workpiece up, but I've given them all away. I haven't got one. What you can use is just a blunt side of a tool. The rollers obviously better, but this will do. Cut that bastard running through. We'll knock it out the counter a little bit. Just gently pushes it through like that.
important thing you need before you put the, the wheel on is a cardboard backing piece like that. You don't want the, the wheel direct onto the aluminium or steel washer. Quite a nice fit. There's another cardboard washer goes on, and then the outer, and then the retaining bolt. Right, I've got the wheel mounted, I'll power it up. I'll be putting that on, obviously. Vibration, the gears can run nice and true. I was looking for a piece of tool steel to make a new screw cutting tool with, and I found this, which is a spring tool hole that I made quite some time ago. And it simply takes the ends of quarter shanks broken milling cut as I sent my drills. I've got loads of these, I'm sure you have as well. That's something that gets clamped in there and then we'll grind the end of that to the 60 degree profile to make a screw cutting tool. The first thing I'll do is I'll square the end off then I'll put a flat on roughly halfway down then grind the 60 degree, 30 degree aside. Try and use the full width of the screw. Okay, so that's the end reasonably square. Next thing is we need a flat on the top of it. Okay, so I've got a flat ground on the end of it. I'm now going to grind a little bit of back brake on it that way. That's enough. The head on the grinder is adjustable in that axis as well as that axis so you can basically dial in any angle you want. We want 30 degrees so we're dialing 30 degrees on here. Because 30 degrees is half of a 60 degree cutting angle. That will in effect cut that edge of the tool. That will put my 30 degrees on there. But we'll also need some back rate on, some clearance. So we'll adjust it that way to give it clearance. 10 degrees will be enough. So we'll grain on the side of the stone, that's what it's designed to do. Calibrated in good old fashioned thaws, which allows that shaft to move in and out, which in turn moves the tool towards and away from the grinding wheel. There's also an adjustable stop on the end of here, which controls the arc of the tool across the wheel. As you can see what's going to work there, it's going to grind an angle that way as well as putting some back rake on that way. The bearings in this grinder are quite noisy so you'll just have to put up with the noise. And I have 
got the fear screen on. Right, you should be able to see there, it's cut one side, so now it's a case of turning it the other way, use the other side of the stone and cut the other side. And now we need to go 30 degrees the other way. And put what 10 degrees the clearance on that way. Move we'll across to the other side of the stone. Set the stock up so it goes as much travel as you can get. So that's basically the two ground. All I'll do now, I'll get a fine slip stone and just polish the faces up, just hold an edge on it. But that's going to fit into there perfectly, which it does. This is the 60 degree setting tool. You can see that, that tool. Is a perfect 60 degrees.